I thought I'd bring you another book haul today, not because I got a lot of books, because I only got one, two, four, five, five books, but because I'm very excited about all the books I got, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the most exciting one to last. So, the first one is Vivian vs. the Apocalypse by Katie Coyle. Katie Coyle won the um, Hotkey Books, sorry, Young Writers Prize, and I like to support young writers. <laughs> because someday I want to be one, and um, it's about an apocalypse, and a girl called Vivian who doesn't really believe in the apocalypse until her parents go missing. I have explained what this is about in my October TBR. Don't think I'm going to get this one read in October, but I was going to try. <laughs> so that's Vivian versus the apocalypse. I really love this cover. I love the girl jumping in the blue. It doesn't look like an apocalypse book, but I really think it looks cool. So yeah, that's that one. I haven't gotten any books from hotkey books. I like the little publishers thing. The next book is Legend by Marie Lu. I was very disappointed in this. I'm not disappointed in the book. I haven't read the book. I've heard great things about the book. But I was disappointed that I ordered it online so that I wouldn't get this cover. I ordered it online so I would get the nice cover. And they still sent me this cover and I'm too lazy to send it back and try and get the other one, so, yeah. I don't know much about Legend, but I've heard great things, and most people know what it's about. I'm like one of the few that hasn't read this and ha doesn't know what it's about. I think it's dystopian, but yeah. Last one came out, so I thought, I would like to read series when the last one comes out, so that's my excuse. <laughs> I've got my receipt in this book. Um, this is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. Um, I've heard good things about this book, and most people know it about it. It's made, been made into a movie, so I was glad I got this cover and not the movie cover. I got this one because I exchanged it, because I originally bought Insurgent. I don't think I hauled that, but I originally bought Insurgent and I bought the ugly cover. Oh, I put it in my October TBR, that's what I did. Um, but then my friend said she was off to Florida, and um, said she'd get me the American hardcover of Insurgent while she was there. So I have great friends, so I exchanged my Insurgent for One Bodies, um, which I've wanted to read for a while. I think it's going to be a bit weird because um, I liked the movie, just I didn't love the movie. I think it's because I wasn't really paying attention when I watched it because I watched it so good with my friend. Um, it's about a, guy, a zombie named R who falls in love with a human and doesn't want to be a zombie anymore. So, yeah, I like this cover. It's good. I, I really like this cover. So, yeah, that's Warm Bodies. The next book, it's a very Christmassy book. It's Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Laura Maracle. Um, it's three holiday romance stories. Um, one, it's a John Green book, and I love John Green, and I've not read any of the other authors. I've heard of Maureen Johnson. But I haven't even heard of Lauren Marshall. I might have to Google her and see what other books she's written. Um, but yeah, I'm receiving two awards from my school, and this is how I bought this one. This will be presented to me as one of my awards. My next award I'll haul next. <laughs> I had to buy books for the award, but that doesn't bother me. <laughs> so, my next book is Teardrop by Lauren Kate. I've not read Lauren Kate's Fallen series, but this cover is so pretty, and I don't have many hard covers, so I thought, well, I'll buy it. And I got a 25% discount, because it's, because I have a 25% discount card, and so it's only six pounds for a hard cover. That's really good. And basically it was free for me, because I won an award, so yeah, that's why I got this one. I don't even know what it's about actually. Oh, uh, it's about a girl called Eureka. That's such a cool name. Um, her mother gets killed in an accident and then she meets a guy called Ander and she thinks they might be linked. But this is a new series in for Lauren Kate, so hopefully I will like it and I will read the Fallen series maybe. And my last book. This is the one I'm most excited about guys. I spent £12 on this, but it was all worth it. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. 
I know what you're thinking. I already have a cup of one of these. And why is the cover red? Well, I have a red cover and it's also it's signed. Look at the J scribble. Uh, I was signed red cover of the Fountain Our Stars. There was like one shipped out to every water waterstones in England and I got this one. I'm so happy. I nearly cried when I got it. I just think, uh, I've, I've been rereading it. I am um, that far. Look, it even has a bookmark thing. I'm that far through it. And it's still making me cry again. <laughs> but now I have John Green's signature. That's so cool. So this is my favorite book of the month might buy more books because tomorrow I am off to Leeds to go shopping and I am going with a friend who is also very into books and has also won an award that she needs to buy a book for so we will probably be spending half our time in Waterstones and W. H. Smith so expect another book haul pretty soon but, um yeah I'm quite proud of myself because none of these books cost a lot apart from the John Green Fault in Our Stars book and I haven't bought many so I'm happy. So here are all my books. That's not a lot, but I like it. All my books. This one especially. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye.